Hello, Critter Protectors, Mr. Jim here, and welcome to Kids Animal Stories, a place where there's always a mystery and adventure around every single corner. If you love critters of all shapes and sizes, I need you on our Critter Protector team. Join our adventure as we learn about critters from around the world and in our backyards. Well, my friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too! Let's go! Martin and his sister Misha are Florida Panther cubs. Uh, We met them in our last episode. They are growing up, but aren't quite big enough to be out on their own quite yet. After a hunting trip to the golf course, Mama Panther realized that they are running out of space. She has just announced that the whole family is going to be moving north, where there's more room for the cubs to grow healthy and strong. Have you ever had to move before to a new house or a new place? Yeah, uh, that can feel uh, confusing, scary, exciting, lots of different things. I wonder what Martin and Misha are thinking. Let's see what happens next. Martin began rattling off questions as usual. Uh, Mom, uh, how are we going to know which way to go? Uh, will there be a forest like this up in the north? And exactly hmm, how long is this trip going to take? Misha tooted nervously. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I want both of you to take a deep breath first. <sighs> I know this all can be a bit scary, and that's okay. Remember how nervous and excited you were before the hunt tonight? The cubs both nodded. I'm not sure how long the trip will take, or if we will live in a forest there. But I do know that this is the right move for our family, and we can do anything if we take it slow and do it together. Together, repeated the cubs. The weather was beautiful that night. It was warm and there was a slight breeze that rustled the plants around them. Finally, the panther family fell asleep to the chirping of tree frogs in the palm trees above them. Misha woke up the next morning to Martin landing on top of her. Oof! Ah! Martin sneak attacked me! Uh, I was sleeping! Oh, don't get your tail in a knot, sis. Today's the day we start our adventure north. Remember, I just want to get this show on the road. Mama Panther stretched out her front paws and arched her back. Martin, no more sneak attacking your sister while she's sleeping. But, Misha, it's time to get up. Fine. After a bit more stretching and grumbling, the Panther family set out. The sun was just beginning to rise, so it was still pretty dark. Just like the night before, Mama Panther led the way. She sniffed the air, paused often, and sometimes climbed up a tree to make sure they were headed in the right direction. After what felt like forever, it was time for a rest. The sun was fully up now, and it was beginning to get too hot to travel. Just when the cubs thought they could not take another step, (gasps) the forest opened up into a meadow full of tall, wispy grass. All right, kids, let's take a break, said Mama Panther as she flopped to the ground. Martin and Misha played sneaky find for a while in the tall grass before tiring out and settling down for a little nap. (sighs) Ah. This isn't so bad, Martin. I've never seen so much tall grass before, but it sure is beautiful. I've never been so tired in all my life, declared Martin. You see, friends, Florida panthers are habitat generalists. Yeah, I don't know what that means either. It's a big word, but (laughs) that means that they can survive in many different environments. Like forests, prairies, 
and Everglades. So being a habitat generalist means that you can live in a lot of different places. Huh, kind of like me and you. I bet we could live in many different places. How amazing. The panther family rested for the rest of the afternoon. They ate a lunch, watched the birds fly by, and napped until they felt strong enough to travel again. The sun was beginning to set as they set off once more. They walked through the tall prairie grasses in silence. Martin and Misha were practicing being as sneaky as possible. After a while, Misha spoke up. Mom, what's that rushing noise? She asked. Yeah, and what are those flashing lights? Asked Martin. Mama Panther paused to listen. Uh, it sounds a bit like a river, but not quite. I'm not really sure what those flashing lights are. Stay close to me until we can figure out what is going on. Before long, the family came to the edge of the meadow and figured out what was making all the noise. It was not a rushing river of water. It was a busy road full of cars. These cars were noisy as they rushed past with their headlights on. The cubs were scared and even Mama Panther seemed unsure of what to do. They needed to cross the road, but it was very dangerous. Uh, Let's follow the road and see if the traffic slows down at all, said Mama Panther. Crunch, crunch, crunch went the grass under their feet. Wait, I think I see something up ahead, said Martin excitedly. Part of the road had turned into a bridge. Wow, there was a safe space under the road for the family to cross. Cars zoomed them above as they passed under the road safely. We did it, shouted Martin. Wow, Mom, you were right. We can face anything if we take it slow and do it together. The road bridge the Panther family crossed under is part of a wildlife corridor. Those are pretty awesome. Wildlife corridors connect patches of wildland together so that critters can move safely from one side to the other. Conservationists are working to create a wildlife corridor in Florida so that the critically endangered panther population can expand. It's kind of like a specially made critter bridge just for critters. Wow, that is a way, way safer way to cross a highway. Don't you think so? I do too. Well, this may be the end of our story, but it's only just the beginning of the amazing adventures that lie ahead for our Florida Panther family. The end. It's time for Critter Protector shoutouts. I want to say hey to Wilder from South Dakota, Lyra and Jasper from Washington, Sebastian from British Columbia, Genevieve from Missouri, and Rayanne from Wisconsin. I'm so glad that you're all on our Critter Protector team. We could not protect all the critters in the world and in our backyards without you, my friends. Well, you have a super duper day, and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye!